Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. My name is Alice and in this video I'm going to give you guided instructions for the dream cardigan with cables or as I used to call it pink cardigan with cables. As you see I am recording uh, myself in front of the computer. I'm recording my voice so people who do not speak English will be able to to see and read uh, the translation in the subtitle. Follow the instructions please carefully because I divided the tutorial for different segments highlighted with different colors to help you to create your own dream cardigan. You can also find these parts as chapters below in the description of the video. Now, this is a small size cardigan, but I am working on two more charts for size medium and large to help you. And I will post those charts on the community of my channel very soon. But the rest of the charts and instructions and drawings you may find on the community. Um, because I'm, unfortunately I can post only five at the same time so please check because more posts are coming about this tutorial now the original cardigan was made with 100 percent recycled wool lamia yarn and one strand of mohair and i used four and five millimeter circular needles but this time I use a yarn with 90% acrylic and 10% alpaca and I use 4 and 5.5 millimeter circular needles. In both cases the knitting tension 10 cm is 19 stitches so I did not have to make changes in my pattern. Please use a yarn with the same knitting tension. If you are an experienced knitter, you might need only the printed charts and patterns from the community of my channel. Feel free to print them and use them. And if you have questions, let me know and I will see what I can do. I did my best with recording and creating. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. Print the pattern instructions from the community and let's start knitting. I am teaching you here to follow the pattern until row 9. Stop the video in each row until you finish the row because from row 2 I am showing only the beginning then the end of the row.
always check that in the center of the diamond shape you use moss stitches which means alternating knit and purl stitches in the same row then knitting the opposite stitches in the next row Now that I am able to see the pattern, I need only two markers for dividing the neck part from the shoulders.
continue the pattern to the point where the increase is going to begin for shaping the armhole. I started the increase after 17 cm in row 22. After 17 cm, after row 22, start forming the armhole by increasing stitches in the next 8 rows. Might you need more centimeter and rows, so please be flexible. Row 1, right side. Slip first stitch, pick up strand, and knit this strand. Continue the pattern. Before the last stitch, pick up again the strand between the stitches, knit this strand, then purl last stitch and turn. Row 2, wrong side. Perform the wrong side as usual. Then repeat row 1 and 2 two more times. Three stitches are increased on both sides. Row 7, right side. Increase two stitches by placing stitches back on the needle. Then continue the pattern and purl the last stitch and turn. Row 8, wrong side. Increase 2 stitches by placing stitches back on the needle. Continue the pattern and turn. Transfer stitches on a cord and there are now 74 stitches on the cord. Pick up 20 stitches by sticking through two legs of each stitch. Where you see knit stitch, you knit. Where you see purl stitch, you purl. Then simply follow the given pattern until the second twisted cable.
so knit about 7.5 centimeter or as you see I knitted two twisted cable to the point where we will start shaping the neckline In the next few rows, we will increase five times. Three times, one stitch at the end of each row on the right side, one time, two stitches at the beginning of the wrong side, and one time, six stitches again at the beginning of the wrong side. Follow the given pattern to the end of the row, then before the last stitch, pick up the strand between the stitches. Knit this strand, then purl the last stitch, and turn. Then repeat to increase one stitch three more times at the end of each row on the right side. After finishing the three stitches increase, in the next row on the right side, you need to turn and increase two stitches in the beginning of the wrong side. Don't forget to follow the pattern, knits and purrs. Again, after finishing the next row on the right side, you need to turn and increase six stitches in the beginning of the wrong side. knit to the exact row where you started increasing the armhole on the back then do exactly the same 
increase the same amount of stitches in the same amount of rows. Make the left side of the front neck by mirroring the right side. We are going to connect the front parts with the back. So far, there are 74 stitches on the back and 30 stitches stitches on both the front parts but we are going to pick up five stitches between the parts There are now 156 stitches on the needle. Continue to knit to the desired length, following always the pattern. This time I'm going to finish the body with curl knit rib knit, but you may finish with your preference of 2 times 2 rib stitch if you like. We are going to pick up stitches for the neck band. I am using a smaller needle, size 4, and will pick up one stitch each time by sticking through two legs of each stitch. Now, along the vertical edge, I will pick up a stitch for every row.
Then finish the neck band with pearl knit rib neck. Or you may finish with your preference of 2 times 2 rib stitch if you like. Pay attention, I like making bottom bend flexible, therefore again I am using a smaller needle, size 4, and I will pick up stitches from each side of the rows plus the third stitch comes always from sticking through two legs of the next stitch. In row 5, we will start working on the bottom holes. I will use the 3 row bottom hole technique. Divide the pen for as many parts, as many buttons you want to use. Knit and purl to marker. Place the next two stitches knitwise, yarn over, then knit the two stitches together knitwise. Repeat at every marker, then turn. On the wrong side of work, work to the button hole and knit the yarn over stitch, then continue the band. At each button hole, knit the yarn over stitch. Now this row is going to be the finishing row of the button holes. Work to the button hole and purl into the hole below the stitch, then continue across the row. After row 10, cast off stitches, purls, purlwise, knits, knitwise.
lace markers from 10 stitches away from each other on the top of the shoulder and under the armpit. Pick up 10 stitches on the top of shoulder, knit 1, purl 1, knit 6, purl 1, knit 1, turn. Slip first stitch, knit one, purl six, knit two, and turn. Pick up one stitch, purl two, knit six, purl two, and pick up one stitch and turn. Keep knitting to the markers and remember to follow the cable pattern. The rule is that on the right side, you pick up stitches both in the beginning and the end of the row and on the wrong side, you slip the first stitch and purl the last stitch. Now pick up 10 stitches under the armpit. Place markers for the 10 stitches. Continue the sleeve until row 16. Do not worry if you have more rows than I. It depends on how many centimeter away you started the armhole from the shoulder on the back. In my case, it gave me 21 rows, therefore now I have 21 edge stitch to pick up.
in row 16, knit to the first marker, knit 2 stitches together, lace marker, knit 6 stitches, lace marker, and knit 2 stitches together. Please mark the stitch you decreased. Always from the marked stitch, we will count rows for the next decrease. Decrease always before and after the markers. There should be always six stitches between the markers. After the last decrease, knit to the desired sleeve length. In my case, at the end, I have 50 stitches on the needle and I will decrease one more time, 10 stitches and shift to needle size 4. And I finish the armband with knit 1, curl 1, whip stitch. I hope you enjoyed my video and if you liked the video, please remember to like the video and I also hope that you will be able to create your own dream cardigan. Just letting you know that I'm already planning to create actually two more tutorials. One is a cardigan but with short sleeves and the other one is also a cardigan for the spring or for the summer. So see you soon. May God bless you all. Bye.